What's up YouTube? Jameson Rubik's Guy here. Starting today off, which one is it? With a shiny Magmar. <laughs> it's always risky to run from it after you find it. But you do it for the video. Even though you could just, you know, tap the AR on and off and get the sparkles. But this is clearly riskier and therefore cooler. We've got 38 minutes to do an insane power hunt. The video will still be a good length for you guys. How good are the stats? Nada. And a decent amount of shiny checks here. I've been walking around for a few minutes. Wow, really? The light is that bad? Trying to find a shiny for the first reaction. We are cluster checking these. I had an incense. I put an incense on as soon as I started my day and realized, oh, I wanted to put a mystery box on to see if it lasted three hours, but I'll be able to research that. Uh, on the drive over, we got quite the surprise in this shiny Vulpix. Pretty sweet. I will be evolving this at the end of the video, so stick around. 10 4 10. And we're up to four shiny Magmar right now. All of them evolved into Magmortar because special move, right? That's when they're valuable. Just like all community days, every single, almost every single quest that you spin from a Pokestop involves catching the community day Pokemon. So we have to catch three Magmar twice over. Can I tap that one? It's right close to the Pokestop. But we do have one from, oh my gosh, there are a lot up here. Another one spawned in here. I'm gonna let the gotcha clean this up by turning on Pokemon catches. Incense check, there's one, glad I got to a quick. This shiny Magmar is Leet. Literally, its CP is 1337. Okay, I don't suck at throwing Pokeballs. I'm just doing it with my left hand. Thank you, Mewtwo, for the bounce back assist. Yeah, 1337 is Leet speak, where you take letters and numbers and you mix them up. So threes are E's and sevens are T's and ones are L's. This is Leet. Wow, that's pretty good stats for an incense shiny. Pokemon Go has made some pandemic changes again because a lot of the world is going into the second wave or third wave or whatever it is. So incense are spawning Pokemon more often now, like they were before, one every minute. And your buddy will bring you up to 15 gifts a day now. I'm gonna flex a shiny Magmortar in this gym. So we've got a uh, Machamp, Gyarados, Pinsir, Nidoking, Magmar, and Magmortar. Quite the Gen 1 squad hanging out there. Oh, another one popped up. Ah, darn it, missed it. We have two Magmar checks. I'm not sure what the 100% is from the research, but we'll find out what it's not. <laughs> 1006, so last week, I was gonna say last month, but two community days this month. Oh my gosh, left hand throws, man. Okay, hold on. Whee! There we go. Last week, Electabuzz was 1,000 CP from the research was a hundo. You'll have to excuse my, whoa, camera work. Catch three Magmar, get some Stardust off of that. Oh man, shiny check galore here. One, two, three. So if you find a level 35 weather boosted Magmar in the wild and it's 22, 23, you know it's a hundo. One more check from research, grab the Stardust. Our last one was 1,006, this is 1,000. If only I got that during Electabuzz. Problem with covering my nose with this is my glasses fog up like crazy. Three Magmar, let's see how good is this. We're getting there, probably in the 1,020 range would be a hundo. Bunch of shiny checks, keep it up. I love getting off-brand shinies on Community Day like that Vulpix earlier. Off-brand is just a casual term to mean like, hey, it's a community today, but not for you, so thanks for coming as the shiny full odds, I guess. Whole bunch of Magmar here. Also, we've got the Swords of Justice trio, Taraki and Kabalian and Verizion in raids right now, along with some Megas like Pidgeot, Gengar, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur's not in there anymore, and Houndoom. I believe those are our Megas right now. Another spawn off the incense, not a shiny. 2122, that's pretty good. That's about 100 CP for max. Oh, you're laughing at me, duck? You wanna say that to my face? You wanna say that to my face? Didn't think so. It's just a bunch of quackery. 
Let's check these stats here. This is probably a level 35, almost. Really good stats. Don't care though, I'm gonna transfer it anyway. Magmar is nice because they come really high CP in the wild, especially with weather boost that happens pretty often in sunny weather. So you can trade a whole bunch of them at high level and get some decent good fire counters. Because fire is one of those types that it's hard to get good counters for. We've got a shiny wild spawn. I don't think it's incense, but I'm still not going to risk running from it. There we are. That's secured, right? I got that, right? Yeah, we got it. No problemo. Quite the cluster to shiny check here. I've only done like two or three of these already. Not in there. Incense, not on the incense. By the lure, oh, nope. Walk backwards. Here, no. No shiny there. Deep in the parking lot. Deep in the heart of Texas. I'm walking, so I forgot which ones I've tapped because they're facing where I was, which is not where I am now. Big brain stuff. That's five head stuff right there. Look at that five head. And that's a shiny magmar. Come here, buddy. Let's go home together. My fireplace ran out of wood, so you're just going to have to sit next to me. Maybe about 100 feet away because you're like the temperature of a volcano, apparently. Shiny captured. Huh. Nope. Wow, a bunch more here. I'd like to get back to back before calm day ends, but I've only given myself 40 minutes to work with. <laughs> Three here to check. One, two, and in front of Postini. Can we get the third? Oh my god, there's more. All right. Wow. And there's an incense one here too. Okay, that's next. Because incense go away quicker. Jeez, man. As we get an egg hatch. Unfortunately, I didn't hatch any shiny Elekid on Electabuzz Day. And that's not a shiny Magby. But we'll throw another 2k in. Drowsy! I'm loving using Hypno in Kanto Cup. I've been messing around with a couple different teams. I went Venusaur, Haunter, and Hypno. Because that's kind of what I used when I very first started Great League. And then I watched a video of how cool Rapidash is with Incinerate. So I'm using a really good PvP IV shiny that I managed to evolve up. It was like 1100 CP as a pony toss, so I thought, there's no way this is getting under 1500. It got to the dot, the highest I could power it up on evolution and stay under 1500. It's 1480. If I powered it up one more time, it would have gone above. So I'm glad I had that pony toss already. I'd rather flex with a shiny on something that's pretty good in PvP than something that's a little bit better that's not shiny. Now, if I have a rank one non-shiny, I think I'm sticking with that. Sure is nice hatching 2Ks with 0.5. Hey, we go plus the shiny, guys. 3, 14, 4. Back to around the area we started. There's a massive cluster here. I haven't checked any of them lined up over the bridge. That's an incense. We'll check that next. Nope. How many is there? Like four? <laughs> this is going to be tapping the same one multiple times trying to get to the correct one you want. Maybe. Maybe I'll first try it. Nope. Tap the Pokestop. That's the mini game. Tap the right Pokemon. Eh. Let's keep walking over here. We've got a massive amphitheater down there where back before all this pandemic stuff, used to host concerts. Weird Al came here and I saw him in concert. That was pretty sweet. I forgot to do this on Electabuzz Day, so I don't want to forget now. We've got to claim our snapshots. Check the incense, but we're gonna let the gotcha get to work here and clean up whatever's around me. If I can connect it, that would be a good start. First off, we have a quest. I didn't end up buying the dollar research today. I'm gonna to use all my Stardust on something else so I don't feel like it's worth a dollar. I need to power up five times to get 60 Great Balls. I do not wanna miss out on that. In the spirit of this community today, I will power up this 100% Magmortar 
with double moves, neither of which are Thunder Punch, or whatever today's move is. Thunderbolt. So we got two Sinnoh Stones, 60 Great Balls, and two more Sinnoh Stones and 1,000 XP for free. Hey, we've got a shiny. It just spawned on in the incense. I'm glad my gotcha wasn't working. Thank you for the bounce back there. We've got some snapshots to take. I've already done one encounter. Let's see if we can get any shinies from the snapshot encounters. Oh my god. I need the gotcha to start working now because we've got a lot of magmar here and six minutes left in this event. Take a snapshot by the river. Are you yep, Pokemon Go. Sure. How are you guys wait, doing? Wait, what are we vlogging? What are you Pokemon doing? Go. Just, Pokemon? just say hi. Hi, <laughs> um, How do yeah. I watch this video? Rubik's, Rubik's Guy on YouTube. What, just Rubik's hey, Guy? Rubik's Guy. R U B I K S G U Y. Wait, no, no X in Rubik's. Okay. And we got an egg hatching. Wait, I want to find that. Hi, yeah. Jameson's vlog. vlog. Hi, everybody. Have hi, guys. Have a break. Uh, yeah, it's getting close to Thanksgiving and Christmas, so. Yeah, happy holiday season. Absolutely. Be thankful. Yeah, I'm going to do one with the, you guys in the picture with the Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. And we go plus the shiny. And there's one on the snapshot. Shiny Magmar. Yay. <laughs> Bonus clip here. Literally last minute shiny hunting. With the battery also flashing red. Let's see if we can catch one final shiny on the screen. If I catch it as the event ends, it might even turn to normal. There's almost no chance another Magmar will spawn for me. Especially not a shiny. <laughs> Come on. When Community Day starts and ends, any current spawns change to or away from Magmar. So those just popped up, but they're gone. We ended up with a total of three, six, nine, eleven shinies, including that Vulpix. Quick IV appraisal through all of these here. Bunk, 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 bunk. That one's pretty good for PvP, but hopefully it'll stay under Ultra League. And like I said, we're evolving up for the first time a shiny Vulpix for me. I don't even have the shiny Alolan Vulpix evolved. I have one, just haven't evolved it. Shiny Silver Nine Tails with blue tips. That's pretty cool, right? Stat check again, even though it doesn't change. Silver Nine Tails. Old Silver. Quick Kabalian raid. Kabalian goes down, hoping for the shiny, of course. And a bunch of work handy, please, because we're going to need them with level 50. That's regular. 1703. I think 1721 is perfect. I don't really need the candy, but we'll go Silver Pineapple anyway, see what happens. Set the excellent weight for the attack. 17 balls. We're going to get this for sure. <laughs> yeah. Throw. Wow, it's a lot further than I remember. There we go. Throw it really far. It's like Mewtwo distance, if not further. Some final cool things happen this community day. Shiny Lucky Giratina. Stats from meh. I think I'm officially out of tradable Shiny Giratinas now. Used my mystery box. After about 60 Meltan, I finally got the Shiny. And finally, at home, Shiny Porygon. Number whatever, because we had community day. But still cool. I always get a little jolt of excitement from a Shiny, even if it's crap. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Rubik's Sky. Hope you guys enjoyed your Magmar community day. We're gonna do some evolutions. I will see you guys in the next one. Jameson, Rubik's Sky out. <laughs>